Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mario Kart Tour. Today we're taking a look at Mario Circuit in reverse for the Baby Daisy Cup. We'll be taking a look at Driver Kart Glider setup and how to maintain combo throughout this. It's definitely doable, um, but it's it's probably the trickiest track out of this the three that we've got for this cup. Um, so first off, let's look at driver setup. We've got some good options here. We have my personal best pick is Toad. Triple Mushrooms is a special skill. It works really nice in combination with my glider. We have Toad Party Time with the worst ability ever. We have Daisy Fairy with Heart. Peach Vacation's got to be the best option, though, in terms of getting racking up points. Coin Box as a special skill will really help you out on this level. Then we have Rosalina is Dash Ring. So, personally, I'd be like Gold, Coin Box first. Then I'd choose Triple Mushroom. But this is probably going to be quite high for you because it's been in the shop quite frequently. Um, then I'd say dash ring, heart, and then we all know what's last in my mind. Um, then we're going to come to a car setup. Not as, not as many options here because we have four high ends and one super. The one super is the El Royale. I don't know why I, where L came from, but it, it, I'm calling it the El Royale. Um, a slipstream plus, which is is not a great special skill, so you probably have better options in terms of cart with some of the high end options. Kabushi Dasher, Dash Panel Plus is a good special skill to have. Wild Wing also comes with Dash Panel Plus. P Wing though has Mini Turbo Plus, which will be your best option for this level. And then we have Rose Queen also having Mini Turbo Plus. Hopefully, P Wing is hard to pull though. Um, it's not been around too long. And it's been in the mix of, I think it's been in the pipes. So hopefully, you know, best option would be P-Wing for you. But hopefully at least some of you will have the super. I think I've upped this because of using it on Choco Island 2. Uh, not a great one to invest in because it only covers three tracks, which is pretty poor for a super. Then when it comes to Glider, we have plenty of options for, for myself personally, because I have three high ends and one super. The super is the oil paper umbrella with red shell plus. Great special skill if you get a red, red shell frenzy. But for me, the personal choice has to be New Year 2020. Um, it's currently at level two. Could invest more in it, but I don't think I'll need to this tour. Special skill with mushroom plus will work really nice in combination with toad. Um, other than that, we have Daisy Glider as a high end super horn. And Peach Hanafuda, which is slightly better because that Mega Mushroom Plus, if you're using stall start tactics, which definitely recommend using on this level, you're going to be racking up some points if you start hitting people. So, I'd probably, I'd probably favor Red Shell Plus over this just because that Red Shell Frenzy is killer for points. Let's look at these runs. So, the first one we're going to be looking at is a run of me just trying to maintain combo so we do a lap and then probably do a lap and a half before we get we just lose it um and then the next one i'll be showing you my high scoring run which isn't that great but it was just crazy because i got a triple frenzy which has been a it's been a while since my last triple frenzy it definitely made it a lot easier to deal with right let's take this at half speed move it up a bit um Right, so start, straight from the beginning, I'm using stall, ta stall start tactics. Um, start pulling your drift straight from the beginning to your right and try and line yourself up with one of these coins. If there's a gap, aim for those ones though because within a good stall start, if you're at the back, you'll probably charge enough up. You'll probably get there in time um, before it's re respawned. So I charge up a super mini turbo there to release. Uh, it gives me time to build up a mini turbo and get nicely up that side for an extra jump boost plus. Coming through here, use your items wisely to make the best of these. See, I used my two mushrooms to get to my mega mushroom there, just because you've got a pipe and a goomba that you can hit with it, as well as people in front of you. Coming through here, it's quite a nice section to be big, because you can hit these. So definitely want to hit those first three coins, and then you need to make sure that you hit these coins. And you need to link up a mini turbo between that and what I take is the ramp. So you can opt for the ones in the middle, but um, you're missing out on a jump boost and a coin. The jump boost will give you a bit more freedom in terms of time. So I can get my mini turbo in time there. And the, the coins will probably have been taken by people in front of you at that point. So coming over here, we're charging up a, um, a drift, 
We have just come off the back of a jump boost, so that should hopefully connect you to that coin if somebody hasn't taken it. Otherwise, you will have to rely on your items. We get pretty nice set up there with a mega mushroom and two friend two mushrooms. So already bringing up big points. And now I did not set up nicely for those four coins, and that could have cost me. But luckily, I I kind of made it back with this mega mushroom hit, and then we have the triple mushroom to get us nicely to these coins so coming in at the side i'm going to charge up your mini turbo um i can release this bomb as well for a little i don't need it to link up this because you do have enough time to get from that front line to that jump boost and coin and then it's about charging up and releasing it again so i release my mini turbo this time don't have enough time you can hold it your charge from the beginning i released one just before the the, the finish line Coming around here, use my items, so we're not getting as many mushrooms because we're in first place, but we do get green shell and a banana, which, which works quite nicely. Mini turbo to connect to here, and then up this ramp. Sometimes you can overshoot this if you use a mushroom, so you might have to aim down. Then you want to land nicely to be able to get these coins, just missing that last one. But they, what you're really trying to do is link that coin to these coins. You need to hit this last one so that you can charge up. So I released then, which uh, was the big mistake. I could have charged up a mini turbo and got myself nicely into there. If you don't have enough time to get across, you can rely on those coins. Um, and so we lose our multiplier there, really unnecessary, especially the fact that we've now got this far and we have not used our item ticket. So from here, I can release a mini turbo to get to this coin. And realistically, I could be using my item to get which is what I actually try and pull here but then I realize I back out of it because I'm about to get this and it means I lose my combo again so definitely one that could have been full comboed but too many errors and look me not making use of these coins here too many errors why do I use my mini turbo straight after getting that coin don't know I suppose the tracks nice and wide so you can take advantage of that and but yeah, really that first lap and a half, to get all that way without using an item ticket, you are you're set for a non-stop combo then. Well, you won't get the non-stop because you'll have, uh, if you use stall, stall start tactics. Right, let's take a look at this run. Not pretty, but it, it's a triple frenzy run, which is, is, is beautiful, isn't it? You're just going to rack up huge points. And there's a big leap from what was before my best score at like 16 and a half thousand. Store start, that coin, coin just doesn't spawn in time. Coming around here, we start things off with a mushroom frenzy, which is perfect. Set myself up nicely to hit the Goomba. Don't get around another time for the next pipe, get a hit. Coming down through here, miss those coins. As I say, it's not a pretty run. But using those items to help me to get here, and we land a nice non frenzy. This one, this time, I'm opting for the um, the coins, and we make good use of them, getting all four coins. Coming around here, we've used a banana frenzy and a mushroom frenzy so far. Here was I was a little bit worried about losing it here, but we actually managed to hold it. I had to avoid those coins to be able to hold it, and we lost it there. Um, so that could have, we definitely could have made that, got that linked up from there to there, but just fell short, didn't pull the mini turbo in time. Coming around, we get lightning struck at probably the best time to get lightning struck. We've got plenty of options here. Coming around, charge to get to the side, and we're back maintaining combo. I think we lose it here though, because I hit the side of that pipe and it slows me down. As I say, not, not, not pretty, but this is beautiful. This blue shell coming in, I'm like, damn, oh no. Pull the, the banana frenzy, which is great in that section because you're gonna get a load of hits. Um, only getting three of those coins this time. My priority was is was in finishing the race at this point because I'm, I'm past 11,000 at that stage. Coming around here, we get another two coins, which is nice. Bananas, this time setting up nicely for those four coins. And we charge again, charge again. We're getting banana hits here. We're holding on to the banana until the last minute because we don't want to get hit. Release and then finish with a massive 19,852. I don't think I'm going to beat that because triple frenzy. 
yes, it could have been a main team, a combo, and I probably would have pulled higher, but still, it's not every day you get a triple frenzy. It's very, very rare. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that score, and hopefully that should be enough for me to to get a great, great total score and take first place for the Daisy Cup. Now, I probably have to put some work into Toad Circuit Reverse, uh, get that a little bit higher. What are we sitting on? We're almost at, we're very, very close to 60,000. If we got that Toad Circuit Reverse it up to a higher score, which I do have the option to be able to do because of the setup that I'm currently investing in with Bob on Parafoil is very close to level five. There was It was in the store yesterday and I will have five, two more item tickets to take that to five out of five. But we'll see where we sit in the level, whether we need to do that within the rankings. Um, but as for this week, it looks like it's, the week before looked pretty, pretty safe. We'll be doing a, or well, by this point, we'll have already done a um, top rankings for this. Where am I sitting at the moment? 69,000. Damn, Dark Vader's taken Mr. Nintendo's top spot. A few days left in the past. It's done. <laughs> hopefully that's been helpful for you guys and hopefully you'll rack up a good score. Let me know your comment section in the comment section below what score have you racked up with what setup have you got in. With, that's all for this one. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all for me. See you guys soon.